Okay, Allison, I'm going to show you how to do three things in this video. It's going to be delete old video, how to put in a new season, and how to put in a new roster, just to make sure you know how to do all three of those things. The first thing you're going to want to look for is the Manage button, and that's going to be right up here. And you're going to take that Manage button and click on it in order to get the full array of options within the, the Manage section. You're going to want to look for the segment that says Storage, and click on Storage. Now you're going to be able to see uh, your storage data up here at the top. And you can see you're only using 0.8 of 40 hours that you have available. So you have plenty of storage space. So you really don't have to delete old video if you don't want to. Now that being said, if you do want to delete old video, you simply just need to take the mouse, put it over one of these red blocks here, and click on it, and that video will delete. However, it will not delete permanently. It will stay kind of um, up on the side for a few weeks, maybe to a month. Uh, to give you the chance to restore it in case you accidentally delete something. So, if I've accidentally deleted something, I simply need to go up to the video I want back on there and I click on restore. And then that video then will go right back to its original spot wherever it was. So that's how you will delete old video. In order to put in a new season, you'll want to go up to manage again. And this time you don't need to click on manage, you need to scroll down and find schedule. Once you click on Schedule, you're going to see that you have the 2012-2013 season, but we want to add a new season. So in order to do that, I simply want to click on New Season. And it will give me the options to keep girls on the roster that are already on the roster. So you don't need to redo emails or anything like that. But you can uncheck girls that are going to graduate that you maybe don't want anymore. So you can look at uh, any of these girls. I know Kayla's going to graduate. I believe Morgan Chesick's going to graduate. You can actually click on them. And then when you add this season, those girls will no longer be uh, part of your roster. I'm not going to actually add the season because I don't know who you want to keep on and who you want to keep off. So I'm just going to leave that, uh, that option up to you. So when you want to eventually add the season, click on Add This Season. You will get uh, the, the next year's segments. Now once you have your new season added, the next thing you want to do is add to your roster. So that will be back up in Manage and you'll want to click on Roster. Now you got to make sure that you're in the new season. For example, last year was the 12-13 season uh, according to Huddle. So this next season will be the 13-14 season. In order to get that work and make sure that you are in the 13-14 season and then you can start adding names um, and email addresses and then click on add athlete and then that should get the uh, uh, send the new athlete an email address um, along with a password and a login to huddle so again whenever you add an athlete you gotta make sure you're adding it to the current season that you have or the most current season you have up so right now you only have one season but once you add that new season you'll have uh, some more options in order to add the girls you want to onto uh, your future roster if you have any more questions please let me know